Hello all. In this tutorial, I will show you how to set up the AD Explorer environment for simulating your designs uh, under Maestro. So uh, as an example, to demonstrate that, uh, I'm going to use the same folded passcode OTA test bench, which I, I used to demonstrate how to do the different verifications of an op-amp under the ADL or ADXL. So this is the same uh, circuit, same design. And now uh, for the people who are just starting the cadence first time or who are using the latest releases of the cadence, uh, for your information uh, here, you won't see the ADL and ADXL because this is being now replaced by the AD Explorer and AD Assembler. So the ADL, which is the single test bench verification, it is replaced by the AD Explorer and the ADXL, it is replaced by the AD Assembler. It's a multi test bench verification environment. Okay. Now, in this uh, tutorial, I will show you uh, how to create the environment under the AD Explorer to do the DC AC uh, analysis. Okay. For an amplifier or any other circuit in general, you can follow the same procedure to do any transient or uh, any other simulations you want to do. So I will just create the new view here. Uh, check here. The view is Maestro. Okay, fine. I just press OK. And this new session window will be coming up. And for the uh, people who are experienced already with the cadence, they might know that in the ADL window, you have a very similar setup, like uh, all these options here, what we had there. So you can use it. But for the new uh, who are just starting the cadence uh, first time, so whenever you are trying to create a simulation environment so the first thing is you need to define your inputs okay what are your different pins or something like this for v in p v in n vdd vss etc like this so this is the first step second step is to define if you have any variables defined in your design you need to define them third thing is uh, our third step is to define the type of analysis what you want to do whether it is ac dc transient pole zero stability whatever analysis you are interested in you define that then the fourth step is to define the outputs what you want to display or you want to you know uh, measure some some more only or some parameter or something like this so this is kind of the let's say the overview of how to create your test case environment now uh, I go here at my store here. So as I said, the first thing is I will define the inputs. So that is uh, I go here setup stimuli, or I click here in the this uh, picture here stimuli. I just click here and this window will pop up. A bit different than what uh, it used to look like from the ADL window. So the first thing is I will define one of one uh, all these pins here. What I will define here. So I can give also here different name. It doesn't has to be same as it is because I can assign them. It, uh, later but let's keep it one on one same just to have no confusion at the end so vdd and uh, because it's a power supply one volt here i will give i will apply here then okay apply and then i give v in p and uh, one volt and uh, one micro and zero Okay, for VDD, I need to power supply 1.8, not 1. Apply and then V in P, I define V in in. I give it 1, uh, 1 micro and the phase, I have a differential input 180 and then the VSS. Uh, okay, uh, I need to define this again. I did not select this. So 1.8, apply. And then I need to here define this V in in. So here one volt, uh, some AC magnitude, and I will keep it out of phase so I, that I have a differential input. And then the VSS, uh, VSS. So it's a DC again. So it's zero, zero volt. Apply. Okay. Now I have it here. Now let's assign them one on one. For this VDD, I would like to have it with this one. Okay. So when I select this VDD, you see here there is this coming this uh, kind of link symbol here. So I click it here, it will select to the corresponding selected signal here. Now because I want this VDD to be linked with this VDD, so I will select it like this. So it select VDD similarly for the VNIN. I select VNIN 
and uh, for this I select uh, V in P and VSS I select VSS okay now once you linked uh, them with these variables as I said you can have a different names here then you can link them and uh, if sometimes you have a lot of pins you can simply click here show unassigned pin it will show you something like this you can also change the reference here by default this from the simulator it is uh, ground always so once you set this up and then just press ok okay now the first thing is done use define the input stimuli the second thing is to define the variables so for now i don't have any variable in my design so i will skip that so the third step is to define the kind of analysis i want to do so it's very similar to the adl window i go here uh, analysis choose analysis this is one way or there is a symbol here also i just click here this window will pop up very similar to the adl environment and then let's do the dc analysis and then the ac analysis i will do sweep from 10 to 10 g and uh, let's keep it as it is now so now i did the i defined the inputs uh, there was no variable and then, then i defined the analysis also now the uh, final step is to define the, what i want to plot also right so you can go here outputs add so this is a bit different than the adl window here so do you want something from the calculate to be defined you need to click on this f like expression if you want to select from the schematic, you need to define and click on the signal. And if you have some scripts, you know, for the post processing or something like this, you can use other options. So for now, let's let's uh, uh, strip uh, to be two options: the expression and signal. So let me first select the signal here. So when I click on the signal, uh, I go to the schematic. I just click this, and I just click this. It should. Now, okay, so when I click on the signal here, so this uh, this line comes here, right? Now I need to uh, define the signal here. So I just double click here under the details in the same row. So then go here, so it will select this. Again, let's do it again. Outputs, add, uh, signal, and uh, it will come here and just double click here on these three uh, dots here and I select the input for example, okay? And I can give also the name here, uh, Vout, uh, net, something like this, and uh, here also VNP, net, something like this, okay. So this is how you define the signals, you know, from the screen uh, in the AD Explorer. Now let's try the another thing for using the calculator. So let's first do a simulation, then we can see in the calculator how to do it, okay. So again, you can go here, simulation, uh, run or there is this option here you can simply run it so i will run it from here so run simulation so my simulation is running a uh, log file will pop up here and i will see when it's over there is no error okay everything's fine here now i can plot them let's say let's plot these two nets first so it got plotted here uh, for the dc and ac and the second thing is i can also you know click on here plot outputs it will plot them okay so this is i plotted for now the ac response and the dc of these two nets but now let's see how to use a calculator here i want to plot the game you know all those things and everything as you remember in the adl window when i was showing you the how to verify the uh, open for the ac verification uh, i can also go here results that plot ac or here that uh, sorry uh, plot outputs are here that plot is again in fail. I simply click here and I can. So if you are, you know, if you have experience with the ADL environment, you can use the uh, Maestro very easily. There is no need to, uh, yeah, feel a bit uh, uh, in confidence or something like that. Okay, and then uh, let's go back to uh, how to use the calculator. Now I go here, uh, I, I did the simulation, now I need to do, uh, use the calculator. So the first is here outputs, I can add expression or there is this probe also here, this symbol. I just click on here, expression. So when I click on the expression, this window will come here, this line, and I need to go here in the details. So now it's interesting here. So the first is, uh, I click here, open the expression builder. You see here, this is the equation. 
The first thing is what I can do is I can uh, change the font size or when I'm writing the equation in all those things, you know, I can make it small or big or something like this. And there are some other features, it's uh, for the visibility point of view, you can see them also. But let's now plot the gain. Okay, the first thing I need to define the DB20, you know, for the gain. So what I can do is I can simply on the search, there is a drop down option, I click on this, it will show me like what I want to see, the favorites, math, modifier, all those functions which I was seeing in the calculator from my previous you know, ADL environment. So I just click all and double click here on the locate functions. It will show me all the functions which are there in the calculator, okay? But now what I want to do is I want to use the DB20, okay? So I just type DB search, it will come here. So I just click and it will come here. Now if you remember, uh, I need to plot uh, the phase response, uh, the gain response, that is I need to define the uh, voltage signal VF. So if you see the moment I press V, it gives me all the you know functions of V related. So VT is for transient simulation. If I do, you can see uh, the explanation also here. So I just select VF here. And then uh, the moment I press VF, it gives me all the you know nets in my design which are here. So this is something uh, uh, very convenient here as compared to the ADL engine. So my output or let's say my input is V out by V in, right? So I just select the V out here and then divide by, again I press VF, VF and uh, V in P and I close the bracket, okay? So once you write the equation, just press here, okay, here, tick. So the expression here, and I give it name AC gain. Okay. So I don't need this uh, now. These two plots. The first two. Let's plot now just the AC gain. Okay. So I will simulate it, and uh, again. So then we will see. Now the simulation is over. Okay. So you see, I got the gain plot here. So very similar to the way I was doing using the calculator in the ADL environment and uh, this is how you do uh, the simulations for you know for any other circuit or any uh, simulation in the AD Explorer. And now for example if you want to swap between the you want to switch to the AD Ascender you know to do the PVT variation or something like this you can simply go like this AD Ascender here and then you can add coordinates here you know something like this. So this is how you do any kind of simulations. Uh, in under MISO uh, using AD Explorer or AD Assembler. Thanks.